Hey YouTube, so excuse the fan that's always gonna be in the background to keep myself cool. Um, let me start out by saying, you know, despite however you got you guys got here, um, I never intended to to be a content creator or a YouTuber. I just wanted to tell the truth. So now that uh, my channel has taken a different direction from just making the music that I like to create. And now when that's getting to know me on a personal level and some of my deepest thoughts and how I feel about a lot of stuff that's going on out here and also stuff that's going on with me. But, um, I will say this for one, the shit that went down that I have not addressed, the girl I used to mod for, very, my energy is not up there either. Yo, I get to say it, I, I got a personality disorder or there's something wrong with me, there is, um. As of now, very tired. I am medicated, but I'm very tired. Um, I feel like PMS, but my body isn't actually going through that. But I haven't really been able to eat. And um, not because I can't eat, because I'm just like distracted with stress and a lot of other stuff. But for now, you know, I. I see fit I will be going doing more videos and um, they're gonna be as quality as they can be because I don't have good lighting here um, and yeah and try to be as concise and to the point as I can and not drag it out so I don't have to do a lot of editing and stuff like that but Um, as far as that lady goes that I used to mod for, you know, vibes. Um, this is where I'm at with the situation. I feel like you were messy in presenting that person on your channel that you did, but you did it. And you don't feel the type of way about it. So, because I do, I feel very offended by it, even though it didn't happen to me. And you said you don't know anybody any loyalty, so the same thing can be said on my end. Then, like I have, if there's no, you feel like you don't owe me any loyalty. Neither do I by coming and trying to get to the bottom of everything that I don't understand. Um, I'm just gonna let it go, and let you be on that tip. But, and I'm not gonna unfollow you. I still support you, but I would definitely give you the same attention that. I get Marcus, so you might eventually want to block me. Um, I'm not going to go in that hard on you because you're not my enemy. I have bigger people um, that are on some wicked malicious shit that are in control that um, I want to go after. And it's not even some. Right now, Marcus is the number one topic and my number one focus. Um as far as his content goes and some of his behaviors and stuff that he does in calling bullshit out when it need be called out and um I did get almost I coerced but I, I, I did get influenced by him, his charm he's a really charming guy but it's a lot of that is superficial so it, it only lasts so long um as far as King goes, I don't have a problem with you, but I was just definitely not a good look for you to come over there on Kiki's show without showing some receipts and pretty much just excusing some of the these allegations that, that haven't been verified or shown proof on. Um, if that was you, I would have not even come up there because that side is an op. 
I'm pretty sure they looking at me on the side eye too, like who this bitch used to mod for them, you know? That's why um it's very important for people to really know details and stuff before they get to saying things because I haven't been a mod for this lady in a while now. And the demodding happened way before this ordeal happened. Um, it happened after I made a live about markets. Other times I was just go trolling his comments that I actually openly talking about him and some of his sick behaviors on live. And I guess I picked the side of position as a detractor and, um, she can't have detractors as, as mods on her channel. And it really don't matter to me, honestly, because I never, like I said, I never asked for her to give me mods. She just gave it to me, bro. Probably because I was over there a lot, you know, it's smart to give somebody mods that is over there a lot. But, girl, I don't, it didn't make me feel either way. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't need all that to, to be a supporter of somebody's channel because my motive is to, to the content and, and to be able to commentate on it. Um, a lot of the times I get blocked or I can't talk like I want to talk. So when I'm able to do that, yeah, it's that's why I feel like I'm free to be. And um, anybody that will allow me into that community is to comment and be real like instead of like sucking ass and telling you what everybody else is telling you because I don't really want to stay away from that cult um mindset and behavior so but yeah depending on how well these videos uploads do depending on how much I'll do them um just a forewarning when I do do these videos I'm gonna be wearing some of the same stuff over and over again because I need to get new clothes. Um, my situation and my living situation right now is not great, right? And I'm in the middle of moving, so, but a lot of stuff that I had was eaten up and I didn't have the money and I still don't have the money right now to replace a lot of stuff or, um, and then another thing, so like when I gained a lot of weight, I had a whole bunch of clothes. I just had some stuff that fit, so I didn't never really have a whole bunch of shit anyways. And I would never really go out a lot, so I didn't really have a need to have a whole bunch of clothes. But y'all come around more, y'all y'all learn. And, you know, as far as people judging me or trolling me, like if I can do it, I can take it. So don't feel like you can't talk shit. Um, if I want to entertain it, I will, uh, but right now, I don't need to be entertaining that, so, but yeah, um, might go live later today, I don't know, or after this, I'm just gonna upload this, and that's that.